Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Pocket Captains Presents Pixel Starships. Here's our newly minted upgraded ship. Oh, there's nothing there I need. There it is. We've made some changes. We've made some improvements and I hope you like what we've done. So look at this, everybody. We have a carrier and I put on some uh, interceptors and some defenders. Now, I seem to be missing a ship. Nope, I guess that's it. Four and 11. Uh, we've also upgraded the lasers. Now, I did that on a whim this morning because I thought, well, I've got the, the minerals. They're sitting around. It'll only take 12 hours. That'll be ready by the time the broadcast starts. Yeah, I'm up kind of early in the morning, so it wasn't really a problem for me. That warehouse is still plugging away in slow motion. That's all right. It'll be worth it when it comes. I mean, we're at 70% of 100, 70 of 100. So it's going to definitely come in handy when we get around to it. Now, let me start by, let's remove the teleporter. And I'm going to show you guys for, if you're new to the hangar, what I use for AI. I, I don't think it needs any upgrade. I think it comes in as is, fully upgraded. Good to go. Yep. Let's talk AI. So what did I do? Well, I set to the cheapest items. Now, you notice that I've got... This is going to be a little controversial for some of you. I've already actually received a really helpful text. Uh, I'm going to refer back to it. It's in the notes from one of the YouTube. I think it's two broadcasts ago. Someone took the time to make what I think, by the way, is a really good list of things to remember, and you should all look at it. Um, I'm sorry. I can't remember his name. He helps us a lot. I'm, I apologize to you. I should know your name. should have written it down before I started. I didn't think I was going to mention you, but he made a great list of things to remember, and one of which he said is never use interceptors. And look at me, four interceptors to 11. Now I'm a rebel in this regard. This one here ha is actually the best bang for your buck. And since the, the, the fighter bays basically start, if you have the right people, fully powered up. Like you notice I got somebody here. What's he got? Not AI, not his AI, his capability. He's got the rush command. He's not there by accident. He's there to speed up the fighters getting off the ground. What better one to get off the ground than this big bad boy? Because he basically shoots, from what I can see, very similar to what these can do. So imagine having one of those floating around some guy's ship shooting multiple times at the same rate as these lasers. It's a pretty good impact. Now these little guys, the interceptors, my best guess is, and I have to do some homework, it seems to be shooting about the same as the bolter. So it's not much. So why... Do I have the four of them on my ship? Why am I saying set cheapest item first? Well, I got multiple reasons. One, that little interceptor is not only cheaper to replace when it's destroyed, it's also um, very fast to get out of the gate. In fact, they launch faster than those bigger uh, defenders. So for me, I get a ship out really, really quickly to do some early damage. I might get a few quick hits in. And I like that. Getting something off the deck, especially if they're teleporting people in for the sole purpose of killing my hangar bay, I might get a ship out fast. Maybe two, maybe three. And three of those little bolters floating around can do a lot of damage. I find I'm getting up to four without too much trouble. So I really like getting those little ones out. Uh, the big guys, they don't go out as fast, may not get them off before they're shot down. The other issue is the enemy may have their own anti-aircraft gun. Let's look at my AI on that for a moment. I've got one now. It's very simple. If the enemy has active craft, set maximum power. Otherwise, minimum power. Don't power it if they don't have fighters. I don't want to deal with that. I want power for my other systems. So if they've got one of these anti-aircraft guns and it's early days, I haven't destroyed, I haven't dealt with it yet. And I really have to update my AI for that. Let it be my little interceptors it takes down. That doesn't cost me as much. I mean, you've seen what these things cost. This is 480. That's 2000. If you're going to take something down, take down my little interceptor, not my great big defender. It's too expensive. So I might get a quick kit. And if I lose it, eh, it's okay. I can easily replace it. Going back to the AI. Uh, if the current hit points are less than 100, set maximum power. That means somebody's damaged it and it's under repair. I want to bring it up to, what is it? Um, that would bring it up to at least two bars right off the bat. Same logic I have for the lasers, probably not as effective because the lasers only have two bars. It says four. Otherwise, increase power by one. So no matter what happens, it's going to try to get up to at least three quarters of a power, which is good. It means it's sipping power. It's taking, it's sharing. Um, enemy shield room, 
target it, first hit. Otherwise, missile rooms, because again, those missiles can have penetrator missiles, and really there's nothing I can do about that except to destroy the missile rooms. I can shield if I choose to, which I don't, against the, the, the lasers, but I can't deal with those missile rooms. So look at these look, gases coming along nicely. Look at that. This level 10 gas thing is just a hoot. So you've seen now that I've got anti-aircraft and I've got a hangar bay. Now my firepower is really much better. And, and I can see that when I'm doing the dailies where it was a struggle with just the two lasers. Oh, well, there's a, an update on my phone, which I forgot to update for the timer. I'll set it now so I don't lose track of what I'm doing. Um, over here in the labs, since I've now up done a little bit of research on the, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. come on, slide down. That's not what I want. Come on, slide. Why aren't you sliding? There, maybe now you'll slide. Oh, maybe there isn't anything else to slide to. I'm updating the EMP technology. The, uh, the Scarlet missiles finished. It's updating this. It's got 10 hours to go. And, uh, Although I thought I was going to do this one next. Obviously, I made a boo-boo. No, I didn't. I'm on track. I want to get my... I, again, it's all about the people. So after that, it's going to be fitness, I think. Although this is nice, too, for recovering material. That comes in very handy. Uh, that was a Starbucks. I don't want to lose that. I'm making up money for the paint job. And yes, I still haven't dealt with this paint job. I'm not in love with the orange. Although, it was funny. I was playing my other ship the other day. And the first one that came up was this little orange ship. And I said, that crappy thing looks just like my, oh, it is me. They want me to fight me. You know what I did? And guess what? I lost. See if the battle's still here. Just to see, Tolfer, Tolfer, where's Tolfer? They're just lining up to destroy me. Oh, there I am. There's Tolfer right there. Um, ah, there we are, I was scrolling. I can actually show you that one. Now I'm going to show you my pirate ship level seven, just for fun, versus this. Now I was playing Toll first, so you'll see he's the attacker. This is before the fighter. Now this is a ship with fight. Now you see, I saw it was wealthy, medium, lower. Why not? How evil could I be? So there's my pirate ship. It's my level seven. It's one I've been playing with most. It seems to only want to scroll one direction. Sorry about that. There we go. And it's fighting this poor thing. The hangar's not finished. I sent borders. He's taking him out. I got a border. He can't be mobile for whatever reason. Again, same same strategy. He's going for the missile room. So if you want to know how effective it is, that's what I'm going for. I'm disabling the teleporter and it's working. Even my little ship is effectively disabling the teleporter. But as you can see, I'm launching fighters. And uh, I'm not really doing that much damage to this old pirate ship. On the flip side, well, my missile rooms are gone. Same strategy. Look at those fighters. Look at them. They're just... Oh, it's it's terrible. It's embarrassing how, how mean I am to me. So, now I got a hangar deck. Would it be different? Hard to say. Now, let me take a moment and talk about this guy. Here's a lesson learned I've, I've, I've found with the hangers. It's a prime target. Actually, on the other ship, I have this guy on the hangar deck too, and I should consider that. Because he's also got the rush command. Mm, no, I still want to deal with the teleporter defense. Nope, you're still teleporter. Um, he's there to rush the missiles for the teleporter. Hits his job. Now let's look at, let's put the AI back on. Remove. Got a little quick there. Uh, there it is, command center. Had it right there, had it under my mouse. Okay, look at him for a minute. He's hanging out in the hangar deck every chance he gets. He'll do a little bit in the security room, the missile room, uh, reactor room. My ship's over the 50. Still hang out in the hangar room, please. You got nothing else to do? Hang out in the hangar room. It's an area of, fa it's a favorite target by the enemy. And once again, there are some people who are just tougher than my people. He's level 20. He's coming along, but he's not the toughest guy around. So the best defense I have, the one that I found is pretty unassailable, is to hold the room. As they come charging into the room, maybe they came from the, my teleporter, which I'll put back. Maybe they came from, I don't know where. The thing is that wherever they're coming from and they're running through my ship, they come in. And for me to hold the room is not nearly as bad as for me to run into the room. The defender, the one who's in the room holding it, has the advantage. So always make sure for a key critical room like this one, hold it. I don't do that on the teleporter because they tend to zerg it, but they don't tend to zerg my fighters, I've noticed. 
And this guy can hold a lot of people off. So now that we've got the ship, we've got the weaponry I need, this one, this one. Obviously, these guys need upgrading. It's 180 gas. That's expensive. I don't got it. We're going to need it. So let's go see what we can do about it. First, uh, have I got my missiles up today? 10 and 10, 45. That's in good shape. Got my new scar. Let's go pick a fight. I've already done my dailies for today. Let's go find somebody. Somebody big. Somebody tough. Oh, he's got nothing. Look at this. He's got fighters, though. Let's test the anti-aircraft gun. He's a test. So we're going ordinary. I wouldn't pick on him, but... So he's got his hangers. It's undefended. Two bolters, two missiles. One laser. No, he's got two. Now, my guys are already boarded and taken out the one laser. And he seems to be waiting for the elevator now while he's getting bombed by the missile room. How am I doing? Well, they took up my... They're taking... They're going after my guns. Which is a good strategy, by the way. It's not dumb of them to do that. But uh, no teleporter that I can see. So they're not boarding. And I think they've got rid of my boarders. Well, that didn't take very long. It's actually a little embarrassing. They're doing pretty well against me. I got one guy, last guy left. He's supposed to be holding the hangar. But in desperation, he's running around fixing the ship. You know what? Whatever they're using is a pretty effective strategy. I'm going down fast. Standard rockets. My fighters haven't even pierced their shields. I'm hitting them with what I got. They're going to take me apart. This was a good ship. Good strategy taking on my guns. Look at that. They took me down like I was nothing. So what did I learn from that? Well, I'm not sure. My boarding party, obviously, was inadequate to the task. And they went after the gun rooms. With, with regular missiles, as far as I can tell. My crew... Well, first of all, it helps if they're in their correct rooms. So that's actually point number one. Let's get these guys in the proper rooms, doing what they're supposed to be doing, not sitting in the gym. Training. Um, <laughs> Never start pick a fight if your guys are training. That's just embarrassing. Now, I didn't see any fighters coming over. Were their fighters effective? I'm going to replay that one. There's something to be learned. I went down too easily on that. I want to know. I'm going to watch my own ship and find out what happened. I was zero effectiveness on their ship. I was actually really bad. What did they do to my ship that was so effective? They concentrated on the guns. Well, now there's a problem. My guys are stacking up on the guns. Took down one. The death of the crew is the fastest way to eliminate a ship. My guy beamed over. Now look at that. They're already down in points, but they're moving together like, a, like there's some kind of dance team. They're setting themselves up as easy targets. Sloppy. Very, very sloppy. As soon as I lost all those crewmen, members, I was done. I don't see any fighters coming after me. Just missiles. Extremely effective, and I was not. My crews were hanging around, and they basically went to the same rooms. I lost two on beam over. And uh, for some reason, they were able to take them up pretty fast and effectively. And I was not that effective this time. Hmm. Their anti-aircraft gun, of course, is holding off my fighters to great effect. Yep. They're definitely shooting at my fighters. That was not an effective attack. So it's time for an upgrade. That should have been uh, pretty straightforward. Hmm. Time to upgrade my logic. What do I make of that? These little retroactives are painful, but they're important. You have to sit and consider what, what could I have done better. They look like regular missiles. I didn't see any flames. Having my people stack up that way was not good. Lay, I, tend to I tend to lean toward the lasers, so that made them extra vulnerable to laser attack. That was not good. Mm hmm. That was a very smart attack. And the lasers only having two defense points per were easy to take out. That was a good strategy. Now I have to think of a way to counter that strategy. One, two, three, four. Oh, they took out my little guys, not my expensive ones. 
How did I get five? It was only supposed to be four. Okay. So we didn't win that one. And I didn't get to test out my logic on the any aircraft gun. Now, the downside, and this is something that the guy, uh, again, I'm sorry I forgot his name. I should look it up right now. I have a computer in front of me that's working. Um, other than this one, I'm not going to mess with this signal. Um, he did say, don't ever start off with interceptors. Would the story have been different with the big defenders? Would have been a lot more hit. Those little guys, they don't really do much damage against the shields. Hmm. On the other hand, we didn't take out the any aircraft gun. I would have been losing defenders instead of interceptors. All things I have to ponder. Definitely, this guy and this guy beamed over. So it was a matter of the synchronized dance between this one, this one, and this one. That was the problem. He was taken out early because he was in the room that was hit. And then these ones danced. I think it was these two. I know she was one of the dancers. And dancing together... When those rooms are being hit is the kiss of death. I need them separated. I don't want them all in the same room at the same time. So let's just take a quick peek. Look at the AI and see if they all have the same priority on what they're fixing. And if they do, it's a quick matter to say, let's see this reactor shield laser 50. Missile laser 100, reactor 100. Security room, teleport, reactor, laser 50. So he's doing with laser 100. Was it because they were both 50 at that point? They were just running back and forth at the same time? Hmm, maybe unavoidable. There may not be much I could do about it. He's just got my number. I mean, it's kind of a rock, paper, scissors thing. There's, I, I don't know very many perfect ships that's invulnerable to everything. But the fact that we collapse so quickly... That's eh, a little hard to stomach. I need to think about that. Certainly, I could add sandbags, but uh, that's a bit, of, a bit of a throwaway. So that's not the way I wanted to end this. I wanted to say, ha ha, look how clever I am. And once again, I proved that I'm not that clever, but I'm getting smarter every day. And that's the important thing. Nobody likes a smart aleck, but uh, I'm always impressed by somebody who learns and who's clever with what they learn. So we got to learn something. And I'm not sure, though, how I'm going to deal with the vulnerability on my lasers. Certainly, they fixed them. They weren't fast enough. There wasn't enough crew to make a difference. Hmm. Something for me to ponder. Maybe you guys have some ideas of what I could have done better for a laser defense. I mean, certainly, I could put up a shield. That's an easy one. If I put up, if I wasn't doing this lab work, I could put up a shield. I have my fleet. By the way, let's take a quick peek at the fleet, see if anybody else has joined us. We are now up to six members. Six. It's growing slowly. We need more members, guys. Come on, don't be afraid to join us. Come on, we, we want to get, we were told that, again, same helpful voice in the distance. When we get to level two is when we get to start taking advantage of the people we're loaning out. So I've loaned people, I'm still doing it. I didn't know that, so I still loan blindly. I never know when level two is going to arrive. So I kind of want to get this fleet up to level two so I can start loaning people out to the others and really helping out. Um, and I hope that uh, you'll do the same and help me out. We all share and work together. Otherwise, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Uh, just a sneak peek of what's coming. I'm going to get these missile rooms up to date. Fasting, faster firing missiles might make a big difference. And uh, I might have won that battle. The other thing I'm considering is I know the time for penetrators is coming up. And uh, penetrators, it doesn't matter if I take his shields down. I'm just going to quietly bore a hole in their armor and there's nothing they can do about it. It's a very humiliating defeat. That's these ones. My level seven ship certainly uses them. I'm thinking it's, is it time now for penetrators? I don't know. What is your opinion? What's your thoughts? So, uh, if you like this, <laughs> not that it's a, a huge victory for our, the good guys, but if you liked what you saw, or if you're interested in more, please subscribe. Otherwise, continue watching. Leave comments. I love the comments. They have really made a big difference to me and I think to the others in the community. And um, if you want to read more about what's going on, go over to www.pocketcaptains.com. It's a real website. Take a look at what we have over there. 
We occasionally publish an article on things we've learned and some tin hat theories about what's coming and what it means. Um, and I'm actually going to try to capture some of our friendly helpers comments and put them in there with a friendly nod to the person who gave us the help and uh, put my own thoughts down as well, especially on these fighters. Was it a mistake or was it a good idea? My level seven, it's a good idea to start with interceptors, but maybe not a level six. No two levels are the same. In the meantime, as the ship starts to level up and I haven't had to spend all these resources I've been gathering up, oops, the resources I've been saving up. Oh, wait a minute, I can upgrade that, I think. Upgrade, you back, combine. I haven't really been spending these like I thought I was going to. I've been, not been doing too badly gathering up the resources I need. But uh, we will have to start marching toward this crew again. Friendly Helper says it's level times four. So we know these guys have to get up to level 24. We're a ways away from that, which means more gas, more gas, more gas. So that's what I'm aiming for. And in the meantime, we'll get these missile rooms up to date. And I will also do my best to get a head to head out there because I think we need to see more of these competitive battles and assess what's going wrong and what's going right. So in the meantime, thanks for listening, everybody. Uh, I hope you're finding this helpful. And I do appreciate when you guys are listening. It makes me feel really good to, to share my own craziness with everybody else out there. So in the meantime, don't forget, have a little bit of fun every day. Good night. Get more tips at pocketcaptains.com.